WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from soggy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 75, S&P 23. NASDAQ's up 151. Russell 20 points. Semis 37. Tranny's 111. Gold's up 12 bucks. Silver up 15 pennies. Lights we crude up 15 cents. Trade at 83.91. Let's go spend a little bit of time with our index charts during this segment here. Give me a moment just to switch over. And as I do, you will see up in the upper left-hand corner the Dow. One of the things that you should notice is that today is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. We know that those TD9 count tops can form a bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. That suggests we should see some type of top between today and Wednesday. And if we do see that top, we should expect price to pull back and at least test that oscillator and change line. Currently printed at 35 to win a quarter. The S&P 500, same type of pattern, bar number eight, for me today. Now, all of this assumes that bar number nine will complete tomorrow. So we won't have that confirmation until tomorrow evening. But if it does, uh, then what we've got is a likely pullback to the 4486 level. We're looking at the cash indices. The NDX 100 bar number eight has formed, suggesting to pull back into the 15208 level. Again, I'm not saying that starts today. I'm not saying that starts at 201 p.m., folks. More likely than not, we're going to see higher price tomorrow, maybe on Wednesday as well. The Russell 2000 also forming bar number eight of a TD9 count. Uh, what is not, though, is the semiconductor index. So I pose this question to you. Is the market going to top without a top signal inside the semis I don't know the answer to that question um, but uh, maybe that's something that uh, we need to explore but what we do know about the semis is they have not formed bar number eight and they need to spike the high of Friday so in the semis they've got to get to higher price and if they're gonna get to higher price so too should the NDX 100 hmm something to think about now the transports out here on fire they formed a TD 9 count you can see that back maybe five six days ago didn't last for more than a smidgen of time and that's a very strong uptrending market out here spot volatility is simply below its 50-day exponential moving average. That always puts the wind at the sails for the S&P 500 and the XAU. It negated its TD9 count pattern a couple of uh, days ago, and that suggests higher price. Now, it's going to form bar number six, likely goes on to form a TD9 count before price pulls back to test its oscillator unchanged line. Folks, stay tuned for two more hours of great programming. Ah, great, great programming. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magical, marvelous Monday. Take care, folks. We'll see you.